Let's talk again about NEO and battery innovation. So I just made a video the other day, you can watch it here, around NEO entering the world of um, high voltage um, supercharging or also bringing this 800 volt technology architecture, however you want to call it, to the battery swap stations and its implications. I also talked about how this patent revealed that NEO might actually take something like the modularization of battery packs um, also bring that to the swapping in terms of that you can have like one, two or three modules pieced together uh, depending on how much range you want, similar to the CATR chocolate pack uh, that has been introduced. And I mentioned that I found something else and well, it's another patent and I will talk about this one in this video, which is about Neo possibly doing something similar than the Tesla 4680 cells, so this um, cylindrical cells, well Tesla has always used cylindrical cells, right, um, that we are used from the consumer products, but they have um, yeah, innovated this process and bringing in it into electric vehicles and thereby leveraging the smooth manufacturing process. And well, NEO has a different um, cell architecture if we recap that for now. So this is one of the latest battery packs of NEO, of course, swappable into the cars. And so it is um, compatible with all of the NEO vehicles out there already. And this is the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. That is a hybrid battery pack and also with the cell to pack technology. And hybrid means that it's combining different chemistries, LFP and NCM. So it's having the advantages that it is more low cost. And so it brings all of the LFP advantages to this battery pack. However, NEO has also innovated this battery pack by also adding NCM cells. And this one uh, has the effect that the state of charge accuracy is better. And in general, there will be less loss in cold weather. One of the negative aspects actually of LFP. So this cell pack here is combining those two different chemistries and in general also brings a higher um, energy density because of this cell to pack technology. So basically it, it's leaving out some of the modules that can be found in other cars and the cells are directly in the pack thereby um, using the room within the pack a, a little bit better and thereby having a higher density overall. Then of course we also know about another hybrid um, battery pack that NEO will reveal in Q4 2020 or actually bring to market in 2020. If you haven't watched it yet, watch my video on my research that I've done on who is producing it for NEO and uh, what is going on in the background. And basically this battery pack is um, yeah, on so-called solid state battery technology. It will have up to 1000 kilometers in range and having a entirely new um, cell chemistry when it comes to the anode, the cathode, as well as um, this uh, in situ solidification hybrid electrolyte. In general, the biggest advantage of this battery pack is that it will have a very high energy density, 360 watt hour per kilogram. And so in terms of energy density, this might be the leading battery in Q4 going forward in the market. Now here's the other patterns that I have found and uh, well, which marks the question, first of all, is NEO entering into also cylindrical batteries? Is it something similar than the 4680 batteries? And meaning, is it even tapless? Now, the advantages of cylindrical cells are that they can use up even less space in the battery pack because they can, well, be more tight together. You don't have this um, uh, empty rooms in between. And also they are much easier to produce at lower cost and have less um, yeah, steps in the manufacturing process. And there are ways of possibly also creating higher energy density cells in this regard and improving the battery design. So far NEO hasn't got any cylindrical cells in their battery packs. So that would be a novelty here. So let's look a little bit deeper into the pattern, but uh, please note that I am not an expert on batteries and also not uh, an engineer and I'm also not an expert in patterns, what they reveal and what they are hiding. So this is all I can give you as a first information here. So this is what NEO is writing in this patent application. A common cylindrical lithium ion battery is wound into a cylindrical shape by a positive electrode, a negative electrode and a separator placed between the positive and negative electrodes to form a core assembly. 
and the core assembly is inserted into the battery case and the core assembly is welded and injected. After a series of processes such as sealing, the cells are formed. Some cylindrical cells also have a built-in mandrel in the middle of the winding core to play the role of structural support, preventing the cell from collapsing in the later stage of use, resulted in shortening lifespan or internal short circuit which may cause safety hazards. During the winding process, the electrode sheet and the separator need to be carried out with the help of a rolling needle and after the winding is completed, it is drawn out and central hole is formed in the middle of the winding core assembly. So this is talking about this central hole which is usually created um, by this needle that is holding um, the structure during the winding process. The winding needle for winding will vary according to the diameter of the cell. The diameter of the winding needle varies according to the size of the cell. The larger the diameter of the cell or the higher the height of the cell, the tension that the winding needle needs to bear during the winding seems to be increasing. Um, this is auto translated here and therefore the diameter of the center hole formed at the center at the core assembly is also larger. The internal space loss caused by the rolling pin also continues to increase resulting in a decrease in energy density of the cell. So this patent description goes into full detail of um, how NEO has innovated this cylindrical cell in order to well, use up more of this space I guess here. Um, in order to make the battery more dense. Now is this a similar innovation to the 4680 tapless um, cylindrical cells that Tesla has introduced at the battery day? Well I don't think so that it's exactly the same thing. For once I think what we can see here are actually tabs that are also used with this battery although they could be well innovated here in this process in order to close this gap in the middle here um, as described by Neo. I'm, as I mentioned I'm not an expert on batteries there but it doesn't seem to me that this battery is specifically a tabless cell that in Tesla's innovation case and patent comes with many advantages regarding um, that it's uh, becoming more efficient uh, in the way that it transforms um, energy as well as um, the heat that is being generated and, and the way that electrons are traveling uh, within the battery. So that doesn't seem uh, the case in this uh, NEO patent, although it may not be um, part of the patent description here. And whether or not this also is a large cell, I'm also not entirely sure on that. It does have a paragraph here where it says that the outer diameter of the first winding core assembly is between 30 to 60 millimeters. So that could be even a little bit smaller or larger than uh, the Tesla 46 diameter here. But again the focus on this pattern description wasn't around uh, the dimensions and the shape of this um, particular battery, the cylindrical cell here or um, how the electrodes are flowing within. It's rather focused on the energy density and this innovation process of um, filling this hole, filling this gap literally and thereby increasing um, the density. However I would say uh, well that this is on a first look um, not a copy of the 4680 or um, you know going the same route down there. However for NEO this is an, a new step in terms of that they haven't got such kind of batteries in their portfolio before and so it seems that NEO is going like uh, multiple ways here and notably of course this is enabled due to the battery swapping there that they can kind of um, you know play with different chemistries, different innovations and bring them also to older models um, if they will. Uh, they won't certainly have those kind of um, innovations like the structural battery pack that Tesla has so I believe we can continue to see um, Tesla being the, the leader here in terms of battery cost manufacturing and large scaling of the, uh, the 4680 in the next step. But for NEO it also seems that they are not standing still and basically coming up with different batteries for different segments. So, um, so far I would say they have mostly high volume uh, performance products here with an average cost and an average uh, energy cell, de uh, cell energy density and in the future with the hybrid uh, solid state battery that is coming out by the end of this year they will fill this gap here which will be possibly a more expensive um, battery. I don't know regarding the battery cost we haven't any specifics yet but it will have those high performance applications when it comes to 
the cathode, anode and so on. And also it will have a higher cell density. And this new patent might actually be more around the entry level low cost because the cylindrical cell similar to Tesla would enable them possibly to manufacture at lower cost with less um, issues in the production and thereby uh, being able to produce higher volumes. So maybe for NEOS moves down market to more affordable cars uh, and maybe even in conjunction with the modularization of the battery pack. So maybe having a battery pack that is very low cost but can be uh, placed in many different models um, that might be a way where this new patent might find some application and thereby also kind of um, yeah, increase the innovation and the energy density specifically um, through the patent outlined there. So this is just the basic research that I have got for now and wanted to share. If you are an expert in batteries, please reach out to me on Patreon or on yeah, write me an email and I will make sure to summarize this research and also give those uh, documents to my patrons there. And well, whenever I find something else and uh, have additional insight, of course, I will make another video about that. But so far, I think it's interesting to see that NEO is innovating at many different fronts. Um, a concern or risk, of course, would be that they are too active in too many different technologies and areas. Uh, and on the other hand, it seems like um, the battery swapping technology is enabling them to not only go with just one technology and having to focus on that instead, they can see and what will be the ultimate winner. And in the end, uh, well, it's good for the users. It will drive down costs. It will give them options, um, different chemistries, different batteries with different advantages and disadvantages. And so, yeah, I think NIO will be one of the major players innovating in this area coming from China. And so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.